It wasn't a great time for me at Spurs that time because Wande Ramos had come in um, and I didn't see eye to eye and we didn't get on. I think he had perceived ideas about what he wanted from a goalkeeper and I wasn't the goalkeeper that he wanted. Hmm. Um, but I think he was stuck with me at that time and he didn't have much choice other than playing me. He played the number two a couple of times and he clearly couldn't play the number two so he played me again. Um, it was a bit like the Joe Hart situation at Manchester City. The, the manager had come in, he didn't want him, but I think we were stuck in the middle of a window and, and he couldn't he couldn't change things. So we had a, a hate-hate relationship, I think, me and Wande Ramos. Um, I didn't like him at all. I didn't get on with him. Um, but it was great to win a, a, a trophy for Spurs. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, something you dream about as a kid. You know, you talk about watching the cup final on a, on a Sunday afternoon in the summer in England when mm. the sun's out. I'd quite often go and play in the garden, have friends around playing the garden, and then come in and avidly watch the cup final. Um, and to be able to climb the steps at Wembley and to lift the trophy, mm. that was literally a dream dream come true. That was probably one of the pinnacles of my career. Literally, just like that was that was everything that I've dreamt of as a boy. I just want to go back to what you said about one day Ramos, if you didn't get on with him. What kind of manager do you get on with? Um, an open, honest manager that's got time for you, that their door's always open. Um honesty is the best thing that you can ask for as a player whether you want to hear what a manager's got to say or not mm. is irrelevant you're better off having the truth and if the manager's door's always open and you can ask him a question and he gives you an honest answer as a player that's what you respect the biggest thing in football nowadays is man management um, the quality of players yes you've got to be tactically aware yes you've got to have be a good coach but how you man manage that dressing room is is the most important thing so who's a good example of... Uh, Sam Allardyce is the best man manager I've ever worked for. Um, I think he was very, very unlucky with England. And for me, with the England, we've gone on a completely different topic with England. What is the best coach in the world mm. going to teach the best players in England in three days? What is he going to coach them in three days? In my opinion, not a lot. He needs to be tactically very clever mm -hmm. and he needs to know how to man-manage 15, 20 egos of multi-millionaires and get them to want to play for him and run through a brick wall for him.